What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Just uh, got a little bit of mail day going and wanted to show you guys what's uh, coming up a little bit. And uh, still trying to crank out some of the third mail day. I guess I bought too many cards for that. Uh, so trying to do that in little little spurts. But uh, should be a couple more videos. I think I got one more stack here to do. And then we can get on to this mail day four. Also got my uh, Stouff Sports uh, Junk Trunk. So that's coming. Um, and uh, just wanted to open some of these up here on screen. Let's see what we got here. I think I know what these big ones are. Let me get my knife out. I don't want to. Looks like everything's in uh, good protection, but you never be too safe, I guess. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's all taped together, but I got some uh, shiny, shiny stuff here. And, uh, boy, they really taped it up good. Let me see if I can get the tape off here. I guess that's a good thing. Man, tape on the back, too. So here's a, uh, it's kind of a jumbo. Pedro Gems. Get some real nice shine to it. Great color. From Top Finest. It's a big card. 2000. Pretty cool though. I don't have any of those, so I wanted to grab one and uh, check it out and see what was going on. Now, let me see if I can get these things all uh, separated out. <sighs> I didn't think it was going to be this tough. I thought we were going to do a little quick one. So obviously I've got these big 8x10 Zenus. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I'm trying to get the shine on this. You can't even fit it in the screen. But I'd gotten some in the past. But uh, man, these things are just so awesome. And uh, the shine on them is just crazy. Uh, so I wanted to get a couple more, and I'm thinking about maybe, let's see if I can get this, uh, maybe um, framing them or something and putting them up. They're just so beautiful. And I think a lot of people don't collect them, just they're so big, like what do you do with them? But uh, I think I'm going to try to frame some. I think they'd be a good candidate for that. And the price on them wasn't too bad. So there's, I'm trying to show, there, if you put that angle there, the whole uniform and everything. So there's uh, there's Jeter. There's Nomar. I have a Nomar already, but the price was so good. I mean, just the detail on these are just nuts. So I got another Nomar. One to frame and one to one to keep. This is my favorite one out of the bunch. Cal Ripken, just the the wow, the angle coming out of the middle just makes the whole thing try back it up here I don't have as much room just a really cool scene so I got two of them <laughs> um, but yeah I think I'm gonna try to frame those up one to collect and one to frame just in case something happens to them and let's see what else we got in here we got a little brick going on and so I'm gonna try to make some other uh, Videos. I got a little mini box again, probably mostly 90s. I can't even remember. Um, there's another 400 box. And another 400 box. I don't think I got any. Oh, maybe I did get some graded stuff here. Let's get so these, these 400 boxes in this little box will turn into about five other videos. Um, a little at a time, but I'm just trying to get this loose stuff today and show you what I got coming in and what's coming up for videos. I did get a little bit of graded stuff. I haven't been doing too much with it, but here's a, um, Pedro. This is the Stars and Steel. It's like actually like a metal card. They're pretty cool. I like those. So I've been getting a couple of those. I don't know what I was doing with these, but uh, I just feel like I didn't want to get uh, 
missing out on some of these coins. That's a Barry Bonds. That's uh, another Barry Bonds. What did I order a Barry Bonds? Oh, Ken Griffey. So two Bonds and a Griffey. These are like um, little mini gold foil from uh, Tops. Trying to get the shine just right without the glare, but uh, I don't have any of those. I remember getting the micro. I think I have the micro set, but I don't have. Um, that was like one of the last sets I got. Too. You really need a magnifying glass to read these. I think it's 92. Um, and I'm pretty sure like that micro micro set was one of the last ones I got. Here's a um, Mucina upper deck in a nine. Nines are fine. Let's see what we got here. Here's a uh, 98 rookie traded Pedro in nine. That's when he came over to the um, Red Sox. Here's a Clemens rookie and an eight. Figured that was good enough. I've been getting a couple of Clemens rookies. The centering was good on it. It's encased, you know, so it's protected. I know what it is. Actually, you know what stimulated me to get this was I had bought two raw ones, and one looked significantly different. And I've since showed it around, and everybody said, yeah, that's just some printing variability but i was really nervous and i really wanted to get at least a clemens rookie that was well we can we can debate whether it's real or not but i'm sure it's real um it's an eight so i don't think anybody really i think uh, if anybody's really going to try to do something they'd be trying to turn them into tens or nines at least so i figured you know what eight's good enough and i think the price was really cheap like on all of these i don't think i paid much more than the cost of grading um, so call it seven or eight bucks. It'd probably be about as high as I went. Here's a, um, Buster Posey rookie in uh, eight and a half. I've been picking up a little bit of him. And the last one is a Bagwell Watkins refractor from 95 from Bowman's best. I'm trying to get this thing to shine, but it's in a nine. Um, didn't have any of these yet, and I wanted to see one, and the price on this was, like, stupid cheap. So, I grabbed it. Um, it's got Bagwell on it. Good enough. So, that's kind of what's going on. Quick little, uh, quick little video. And uh, some crazy big things. A little bit of graded, some coins, some weird stuff. I don't know. Let's leave you with Roger Clemens. Uh... Little, little, uh, I guess a reason to get some graded stuff is uh, just to have something at least that we know is real, whether it's manipulated or not. It's encased, it's real. Shouldn't have to worry about it too much that way. So that's what's going on. There'll be some videos coming. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment below if you got any comments. And otherwise, if you're open to anything, best of luck to you guys. Don't forget to collect to connect. And you guys all have an awesome day.